anyways, how's it going, guys? This is me again. Now, I know very well that I've been missing out on a lot of other videos. It's been because I've been doing with dealing with some other with some stuff that's been going on. So, anyways, I'm back with another Sharks of the World book, and this one's called the Prediction Field Guys Sharks of the World. This was made in 2005, and it's it's one of the old it's one of the oldest books of this of this version of Sharks of the World. It's one of the oldest ones, and yeah, this was made by Leonard Campango, uh, David E. Ebert didn't David A. Ebert didn't do anything with this one. It was probably just back then. Yeah, it's it's different. It has some new stuff on it, and yeah, it's, it's also been illustrated by Mark Dando, and also been texted by Sarah Fowler. So yeah, it's a book that I got like a few, probably a month ago or not. It was probably it's a month ago, and or or is. Or is it, was it, it's this month. It was probably the beginning of November. So yeah, it contains, it contains like 440 plus shark species in full color, fast and accurate and, and information of each shark family. Over 500 additional, 500 additional drawings illustrated featured from different angles. Each information, Each information for each species with detailed or sized habits, behavior, and biology. Quick ID guide, help helpful for diff. Not too great with spelling a lot. With similar species, and yeah, it's probably that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna take a look at this prediction field guides, sharks of the world. Let's go. Right. I know it's going to look very different from the others, but it will be the same. It's like it's like those others. Okay. It's pretty much like those others. It's just, it's just uh, we're not really going to go through the... Uh, Index. I mean, the index is the introduction is important, but we do need to go through. I'm just, I'm just showing you guys on what the inf the information about, and what it, uh, the introduction. Yeah, pretty much. Go through this. Alright. Now it's going with the frilling cow sharks. Now, I'm kind of, I kind of am a little bit disappointed about this side since it's not like this side. This one's just black and white. But Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Now with dogfishes. Don't worry, we'll get to brambles, probably. And the gulpers. There are the brambles. Those are. And the bird beat dogfishes. The little lanterns. Sleeper sharks. Okay, now there is a one new shark that's been added in this. It's called the uh, long no. It's called the long nosed, uh, long nosed sleeper shark. No, it's not these two. These two are immature versions of this one's southern 
immature version, and this one's the immature version of a Pacific Slaver shark, and this one's immature version of the Southern. This one is a new, this one's a new species in here. It's a long-nosed, it's a long-nosed sleeper shark. And, yeah, pretty much, yeah. With the giants. All right, now we're getting into the rough sharks and, and kite fins. And the soft sharks, too. So, guys, I have a little bit of a... I have a... Uh, you know what, never mind. I, I'm not even going to ask good about it. Anyways, um, now we're with the um, angel sharks. Horn sharks, or bullhead sharks. I'm sorry, bullheads. And carpet sharks and and the wad guns. Now this one right here, this is a dip, this was the original illustration of a ornate wabigon shark. I'm pretty sure you can tell from what it is. The illustration of that one from the other books was different, so. This one's this one's just an, another illustration. The long carpet sharks and the nurse sharks and zebra sharks, crocodile sharks, the goblins and the sand tigers. It's pretty much just going to show you guys uh, the exact same species, same illustrations, different ones, new new illustrations. But yeah. Cat sharks. You know, I just want to say, uh, sometimes, uh, I might just want to say it. Sometimes, uh, the, uh, hold on a minute. Get it over quick. Right, anyways. Sometimes these sharks are weird looking, but I'm not going to blame, blame, like, God for it. Because, God can create literally anything. He can create whatever he wants. Like, I'm just saying it. Now some of these are gonna be on this on the on this side too. So if you see that, that's fine. Probably because they couldn't fit it all on one page. Golden sharks. These right here. Now, okay. Now, in this book, they uh, said about this the pygmy false cat shark. They didn't show the scientific name. They just said new genes and species. So it's, I'm pretty sure. I think it was. Well, back then, I'm pretty sure that's this one was was discovered. And, yeah, the scientific name wasn't really wasn't really announced yet. The hound sharks. <laughs> Weasel sharks. Now requiem sharks. Now I used to call a requiem. I'm used to call it requiem sharks, but now it's requiem. Sorry about that. Oh, and also the illustration of a tiger shark from shark from sharks.org is now in this one. Yeah. This one, I'm pretty sure, I kind of felt bad for this one. This one has pretty much just been forgotten with the new one in there. And I could see because the, the spottings, because tiger sharks actually have spots so that they look like it when they're not. I just, it's just that they um, weren't really added on that much and they were just kind of a little striped. I can see that. Get some other. Thing. If you're gonna see some new illustrations that you never seen before, hmm, that, that that's gonna be a little bit okay. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, uh, and some sharks are gonna just be called this with uh the like with this one the Bornino River shark. It's gonna be just the scientific name of this one in the book is called a Galiphus sp spb. 
that's that's strange. Like, like why? Like, hmm. And sometimes from the and some of them from the original are gonna be out of order. So. Now, let me explain everything with this page. Now, first off, this right here, the uh, smooth tip, smooth tip, black tip shark, what? the smooth tip, black tip, you would have recalled that it was greenish in there, but now in the book they changed it into like a goldish color. Like, okay, they actually decided to do that. So now, I don't even know which one is the accurate color or not. Oh, and also this one right here. This is a new shark that has been added into the book. It's called a false small tail shark. A, and it's pretty much just another word for a lost shark, as you found in my community, community post. Yeah. Okay, now we're going with the hammerhead sharks. Alright, now... With this page here, it's just going to be more information about the sharks. So I'm just going to probably go through this all. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the drawings in this one are pretty much black and white, and they're pretty different when you tell from the complete guide. Which you can probably see. Now, I have a question, guys. You guys, uh, um, I if you guys think about it, do you guys think of what is the smallest species of shark in the world? Well, the small shark. Pretty much by some people would say is the and it's really it's pretty right and the small shark in the world is actually known to be the dwarf lantern shark because they can actually be up to well, Dwarf lantern shark, it can pretty much be when they're born, they're six centimeters, and when they're mature, they are 16 slash seven centimeters. When they're males, they're 19 centimeters, and females, I'm pretty sure both males and females because it says that, and their max is 21 centimeters. Can you not say that that's small? Can you say that it isn't small? Like, because that is really small. Like, pretty much. I'm just gonna, I just wanna go through the whole page so that way you guys can see every page in this book. Because it's already been 14 minutes in this book. I need 14 minutes in the video. Yeah. When I started this whole thing with the pocket guide, the first edition on that one, I always said that these in the book, the illustrations in the book are very good. Like, for real. And uh, I'm still going to keep on saying that. Because those, they're out of the world. They're out of this world. They're, I mean, not in a rude way, but I meant like in a good way. Like they're, they're, they're they're freaking amazing. Like, really. 
like they are. I know this is kind of like gonna take a while, pretty much. But it's just I'm I'm just doing it for its own good, like just to show you every single page, so that way you won't have to. I mean, you I'm pretty sure that you would wanna probably get it yourself, but I'm just showing you on what the pages are gonna look like. But then again, that might be a spoil or. Is there such thing as like a spoiler for like books? I mean, there no, there is such thing as a spoiler for movies, but but with books, I don't really think so. Requiem, re, requiem sharks. I have a hard time pronouncing that word. Requiem. Wait, river sharks. Now, if you see this this right here the brazant river shark this one is the juvenile version of a spear tooth shark a goliphus goliphus this one is a juvenile version of the goliphus goliphus so yeah don't mistake that for a, no, a new species Now the rest on this book is just glossary, like, the, like a dictionary, because every book is just a remix of the dictionary. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to mention, um, there is a checklist where it shows every single species. This is a checklist, so if you want to check out, if you want to check all of the all the sharks there on this checklist, you can do that. But I'm not too, because that would ruin its valuableness. Alright, so we're done. Okay, guys, so this is it. So, guys, now I know you're just going to say that this book is amazing and because I love sharks. Well, yeah. This could be one of the oldest books from the Prediction Field Guides, Sharks of the World books. But however, it's still worth a read. I every Sharks of the World book is a great book, and I recommend that. Like really, everything about this really good. Everything new, different, different stuff. Like really, everything different in this book. Yeah, very much. So guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.